stay a while and listen. Scouts, Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. And I've been getting hit in every direction on social media for people requesting that I talk about the Legends Commander leaks. And uh, yeah, it's right around the corner. Now, if you don't want to see the leaks or spoilers, I definitely suggest you tune out now. But if you would like to, which I know I do, stay a while and listen. <laughs> there has been um, a seller on eBay. We'll get to that in one second. Uh, these are some photos from the seller, the actual listing. Um, yes, he cracked open a whole bunch of boxes and, and, and what have you and packs People have said over a thousand. I mean, I heard all different numbers, but we have, I'd say, about 20 spoilers or leaks to discuss, and then also official spoilers about about 20 of those as well, um, and some other crazy talk. I'm going to show you the listing here in one second. Here's another pack, um, Commander Legendran. Yeah, uh, this is crazy. So this is right around the corner, and I hear also people saying, "Well, you know, uh, I don't like that they do the leaks." Sometimes I almost think. When something's leaked, Wizards did it, you know, because it's like a publicity stunt almost, you know. I don't think they would allow someone to get their hands on this stuff this early, you know what I'm saying, um, unless they work for the company or, or something, you know. I mean, I could be wrong about that. They could have ended up breaking into a warehouse or something and ganking them. There's all types of things that could have happened for this to uh, appear on eBay. But the guy actually sold these cards. It is nuts. He sold them on eBay, listed them, shipped Crazy, I know. So here's Jessica Thrice Reborn, uh, legendary planeswalker. Only a three drop. That's different. Jessica Thrice Reborn enters the battlefield with an additional loyalty counter for each time you've cast a commander from the command zone. This game I, I, is that original? Is that unique? Is that the first time we've seen uh, a commander with that kind of ability? If so, it's pretty cool. And then uh, for zero, choose a creature until your next turn. If that creature would deal combat damage to an opponent. It deals triple that damage instead. Is there much stuff? Well, there's a couple. I don't know how many cards, but unblockable in red, if this would be your commander, you know. Uh, that would be dirty. I know blue's got a lot of unblockable stuff, you know. Uh, and black has some unblockable stuff too. But uh, red only, I think it's usually like you pay two. You pay, you know, you pay something, and then a creature with power two or less can't be blocked. You know, like there's just some things like that. But that seems like a pretty neat ability on this a Planeswalker already. It's minus X, just got thrice a reborn, deals X damage to each of up to three targets. All right, that's legit. This seems like a really, um, it seems like a powerful Planeswalker to me. And then Jessica Thrice Reborn can be your commander. So for Planeswalkers, it has to actually say commander on the card, um, it, or it can be your commander if. It is going to be the commander. Otherwise, if it doesn't say it, it cannot be your commander. Uh, exceptions for Brawl, of course. Uh, partner, though. Partner. So that means it's going to be partnered with someone. A lot of, uh, I hear a lot of people saying also, they don't like the whole partner thing. But it is what it is. It is what it is, guys. Take it for what it is. Here's some more photos um, of uh, you know some of the cards he opened. And some of these we um, are actually going to decipher and try to break them down for you guys uh, the best way possible. Then we have Tavesh that Doom of Fools. Now, when I first read this, I'm like, oh, man, maybe we're all being trolled, you know, like it's because of the name of the card, but, you know, maybe not. Legendary Planeswalker, plus two, create two, zero, one, black thrall creature tokens. Thrall, God, I miss thralls, man. Plus one, you may sacrifice another creature or planeswalker. If you do, draw two cards. Then draw another card if the sacrificed permanent was a commander. Ooh. Okay. And then minus 10, gain control of all commanders. Then put all commanders from the command zone onto the battlefield under your control. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> that is pretty sweet. Uh, but it, it only starts out with loyalty of four. Um, so getting there... It's going to take some time, you know, uh, without a doubt. But then you get everything on the board, all the commanders. That's 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 some power, man. <laughs> to best Doom of Fools can be your commander, and it says partner. So there you have it. So um, those are the two huge ones. And then we actually, there's some bigger ones also as well. Here's just some more photos um, the person took on eBay of all these goodies going around. 
And then we also have this. This is the actual listing. I ended up finding the sold listing. There was like three or four listings from this individual. And he sold, he, she, whoever, they sold, um, yeah, these cards. They sold one of each. So you, I guess the person paid 60 bucks for it. And they got one of uh, this young chap and the, uh, the other person, the other Planeswalker card. So, whoa, I was not that person. I'm sure they sold like immediately, you know, but man, this person opened a lot of, I want to know how this person got their hands on it. Was it actually stolen? Is there, can we confirm that? Can anyone? Um, I mean, this, per, it's on eBay. I mean, if it is illegal to do this, you know, if the person did it, they did steal the cards, you can track, wizards could track it easily, you know, and they'll press criminal charges, I'm sure, but who knows? Here's another image from uh, one of the other posts or one of the other um, Buy It Now Best Offer listings on eBay from the person. And then we have some mock-ups. These mock-ups are courtesy of good old Mitch Command Quarters. That's right. Um, it was just really simple and easy. He put it all out there. I did come across the website where um, they had it all laid out. They had, you know, just in text. There was no images to go with it. So hats off. Thanks, Mitch, for doing this. Um, yeah. Thalys Dignified Medium. The art, again, you got to remember a lot of stuff on this. Um, some of the names might be a tiny bit off. Um, and also uh, the, the, verbiage, the verbiage, the wording, you know, uh, and the text may not be 100% accurate. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So, but the images you see are not the artwork. Or at least we highly doubt it's the artwork. <laughs> They're not going to be the artwork. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, create x11 white spirit creature tokens with flying where x is the number of tokens that you've sacrificed this turn that seems slick for a commander three four all right five to five to cast all right i, I dig it create x11 uh, white spirit creature tokens with flying where x is the number of tokens that you've sacrificed this turn that's kind of weird but at the same time you are really probably trying to drain the life out of your opponent so you know there's gonna be triggers going off there uh, sack builds and all that, and lose one life, gain one life kind of stuff for a creature entering or dying, you know, things like that. All back, a heartless chronolo. Um, yeah, some other stuff on that. Legendary creature, ogre wizard. And some text may even be missing as well. Keep that in mind also. Tap it. The player whose turn it currently is may end the turn. Three, four. That is just different. Okay. Not sure how I feel about this guy, um, but just... Ending the turn. The player whose turn it, it it currently is may end the turn. We sure about this one. <laughs> the player whose turn it is currently the player whose turn it currently is may end the turn. Do are they the one that taps this then? I guess they have the power to tap it then. I believe. Okay, up to three four. If it's different. Uh, Rayav, Master Blacksmith, you know, do some Morris, uh, Legendary Creature, Dwarf Artificer. Whenever a creature you control attacks, if it's enchanted or equipped, it gains double strike until end of turn. I like that. I'd like to see that right now in, like, standard, but, you know, what are you going to do? It's a deuce, deuce, so that's pretty cool. I dig it. And then we have Shelly the Turtle. Yeah, again, not too certain of names and, uh, manic, you know, costs and stuff. It was as much as people could... Uh, basically, you know, understand of the images they saw. So, uh, it's a turtle. It's a turtle. As long as Shelly the turtle is tapped, other permanents enter the battlefield tapped. As long as Shelly the turtle is untapped, other permanents enter the battlefield untapped. Not sure on the power and toughness of this. Again, very different kind of cards we're seeing here. There's some very unique abilities on these cards, which I do like. I, I will say that much. I do like it a lot. Partner. Partner? Anyone fans of partner? You guys haters of partner? Guess what? It's not going anywhere. So it's one of those things you're going to have to accept. It's, it's just, it's just that it is what it is. Blame wizards, you know. But I think it's kind of neat. Uh, for five legendary creature, human artificer, scrap splicer. When ich, tach, scrap splicer enters the battlefield, create a 3-3 three, three colorless golem artifact creature token. This is a 1-1. One, one. So, okay, just says enter. So, I mean, you can bounce a bunch, I guess. Whenever an artifact, well, maybe not in green so much. Whenever an artifact is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on a uh, scrap splicer and on each golem you control, partner 1-1. One, one. So, that's legit. Uh, if you're going golem tribal, I mean, if you're going golems, this is probably going to be, uh, yeah, golem tribal, this is going to be like one of your commanders right here. And then you partner it up. 
Pretty cool. It's on a 1-1 one, one only, though. Uh, yeah, name, not too certain. Uh, Deuce Drop, Legendary Creature, Owl, Flying. Uh, it's a 1-3. Spells your opponent's cast that target commanders you control cost three more to cast. It's got partner on it as well. That's cool. Making it, uh, you know, making your stuff uh, difficult to remove. It'd be really neat if Commander had sideboard, but Commander games already go so long. Does anyone play Commander with sideboards? If so, I mean, this would be a great sideboard card, you know. Could you? But actually, that that would probably be cheating. And maybe you couldn't sideboard your Commander out or something like that, because that would be just overpowering, you know, because you would know your opponent's strategy. You know, anyway, just something I threw out there. But interesting card, Lihasa of Flight Numbra. Okay, Enumbra. Uh, five drop, legendary creature, angel. Another one of these, uh, the fourth, I think that someone said the fourth uh, angel of Avacyn that this card will actually be. So you may pay commander tax with two life instead of two mana per cast. If you have a lot of life gain, this is going to be cool. And then flying and lifelink, it's a 5-5. Five, five. Whenever a player casts a spell, you gain two life. Wow. That almost seems busted. I mean, wow. Uh, especially with some of the other cards that just trigger off. You know, whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. I'm sure there can even be some kind of infinite stuff with this. Well, then again, yeah, if you're gaining life and then losing life. You know, there's other stuff you can do with it uh, to go infinite. But uh, I, I think it's a really cool card. I like it. I, I can't wait to see the actual art on all these uh, all these spoilers and leaks. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be a good time, my friends. This one is probably one of my favorite, though. If I if I had to put money on any of them to be impactful, I'd say this card. Out of the bunch, um, I like it. We'll see a lot of play. Then we have Tormod, uh, the Grave Robber. All right, four drop, Zombie Wizards, legendary guys. Four two partner. Whenever one or more cards leave your graveyard, create a tap two two black zombie creature token. If only it said, whenever. A card leaves your graveyard, create a two, two black zombie creature token, busted. <laughs> you know, because then each time it leaves the graveyard, just trigger, 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 all these zombies. They didn't, yeah, they couldn't do that. So they had to put the, the wording in there. Whenever one or more cards, so if you had an ability that would make, you know, five leave the graveyard, you wouldn't get, you know, five, two, two, tap black zombie creature tokens. But nonetheless, that's pretty sweet. Um, these ones are official. These are confirmed. Put your, uh, you can bet your bottom dollar on that. These ones have all been uh, confirmed. They, they were leaked, uh, not leaked, but spoiled a while ago by Wizards themselves, um, I think a month ago. Man, that's all it's been. It almost feels like it's been a lot longer than a month ago. But you have Sender of the Dark Baron um, in all of its awesomeness. Uh, Sengar, sorry, I know you guys hate when I talk. Uh, Command Tower over here, Keeper of the Accord, Mana Confluence, which definitely needed a reprint. That's what's uh, great about these Commander Signs. They can throw in, you know, powerful, uh, you know, lands or creatures, or whatever the case may be, that just desperately needed a reprint. Mana Confluence was uh, reaching about 30 bucks before the announcement of this. Um, actually, maybe 25 something like that. So seeing a reprint's cool. Plus, it's in Mythic, you know. Um, there you have it. Uh, and then Halana, Kissing Ranger. Kissing, can I call her a Kissing Ranger? We could do that. We could do that. We could dance if you want to. Uh, I got the Trapper over here. The old Trapper and the Ranger. So we partner them together. Commander Sphere. Pretty cool. And uh, keep it in your cord. There is that page. And then I know a lot of you guys have already seen this, so I'm not spending too much time on it, basically. Um, yeah, lands. We got them. That's right. Um, we got them. They're back. I know. Uh, to complete the, ver uh, complete the set. Um, or the cycle, I should say, from Battle Bond, um, we're getting these Vault of Champions, Undergrowth Stadium, Training Center, Rejuvenating Springs, and uh, Spectator Searing. I once compared these to original Dual Lands. Okay, I made a comparison. I said these are basically like OG Dual Lands. Well, in Commander, kind of, kind of, it, and it took forever for these cards to start gaining uh, uh, value. And I was like, why? This seems so busted. I think I remember picking up like uh, a, a couple play sets of each one from Battle Bond when they were really cheap, like four or five bucks each or something like that, maybe three bucks, or whatever they were. Um, but if you read the card, you know, just for instance, let's take a look at this one. Um, when it enters the battle, uh, or I'm sorry, spectator seating, I mean, yeah, spectator seating enters the battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents. So, I mean, I guess if you get this early on in the game, okay, 
if you get it early on in the game, it's like an OG duel. It just drops. There's no downside, nothing like that. That was the only comparison I was trying to make, you know. But if you get this later on in the game, you know, if you get it, I don't know, turn seven, turn eight, there's already a person knocked out, maybe turn 10, whatever the case may be. There's already two people knocked out. You only have one opponent. Well, guess what? This is going to come in tapped. It enters tapped. That's the downside. So, I mean, early like, early game, this is sweet. You know, the first, like, five, six turns, usually in Commander, I don't think people die too soon. I know there's ways in Competitive Commander people get crazy and their decks just bam, you know. But a lot of people just like to have fun Commander, you know. Uh, so the games go a little longer. But, um, yeah, it, it drops early on. And you, my friend, you don't have any downside with that. But it's just later on. So um, there you go. And they are doing like these extended art or these uh, these border frame arts on some stuff, uh, which is pretty cool as well. It's like showcase art, they're calling it. Yeah. So there you have it. Those are the leaks. Those are the spoilers that are official that we know of right now. Um, yeah. And uh, again, Mitch, thanks for making that very simple for myself. All the other stuff, I had to kind of do some research and dig some things out. But it was nice to have those available. So Commander Legends leaks and official spoilers. If you guys enjoyed the video, by all means, hit the thumbs up button. If you're excited for Commander, because I know I am. Um, actually, I am. I'm going to start playing Commander. I know. I know. Hit the like if you like that one. I know it's crazy. I know. I know. I know. The baby's getting a little older. Joey Moss is going to have a tiny bit more time now. I know, I know, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to dive into it. I'm not sure when, but uh, it will be this year. You'll see more and more Commander stuff. Probably me actually playing the game with people, maybe even playing with fans. Who knows? It's going to get nuts. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you tuning in. Smash that like, and go finish yourself. We'll see you. Uh...